Lee Christie from eDart here, uh, showing you a little bit about geodesic domes using SolidWorks 2009. Uh, I'm going to throw in a few of these assemblies that I've pre-made. Um, everything's parametric, so we should be able to alter this at the very end to make it the dimensions we want. I'm just going to go in and uh, made everything up real quick. That's what we want. Right now I'm just choosing the initial solution or the initial point for the solution. Um, if you give it, if you get it a little bit close, SolidWorks will make the right guess um, and will solve it correctly. Uh, so you have to kind of fold everything into the rough shape um, ahead of time in order to get it, in order to get the parts to fit properly. Let's try this one now. That looks about right. Everything looks okay here, so I think I'm going to proceed with the last connection. Um, let's see if it does it, if it guesses correctly. Yep, that looks right to me. Okay, good. So it has guessed correctly, which is great. Um, now we got all these little pickup sticks lying everywhere. So let's get them in place. There we go, we're all done. We got the dome all together. Um, and uh, yeah, now we can sort of play a little bit with the uh, the parametric updating of this, this model. So we can go in uh, and, and check things parametrically now. Uh, we can zoom right in, um, choose a beam, uh, take a look at its length. Um, this is, you know, um, uh, let's give it some dual dimensions here. Uh, okay, so that's 148.3 inches. And uh, we can go in there, change this value. Let's do uh, like 100 inches, for example. Or let's go crazy. Let's go put in a one foot. So this will look pretty funny, all scrunched up. But everything should update parametrically. And there we have it. There's our little little tiny dome. Uh, one of the advantages of this model is that you can go in and you can actually check uh, all the various you know updated dimensions. For example, the diameter of this dome. Uh, it was a 20 foot dome. Now it's a 34 inch dome, um, but that looks a little bit ridiculous. So let's go in there and change the sizes a little bit too. Um, okay, so we grab this guy and there's our diameter, which is obviously way too big. I think it's like five inches or something like that. Let's put that down to two inches, uh, make this look a little bit more reasonable. Uh, update the drawing and of course, again, everything updates parametrically. So there you have it. A geodesic Dome in SOLIDWORKS 2009.